It's been two weeks now since the Cecil Ashburn Drive closed for construction. The closure has impacted several businesses along that route, including a church, leaving the pastor concerned about the church's future. Today, our Kelly Kennedy caught up with the pastor. Today, the church is holding its second Sunday service since the Cecil Ashburn Road closure, and the parking lot is full. So far, Pastor Byron Brown says everything is looking good. Our people have been making it to church pretty well. It's limited a few people from coming, but for the most part, everybody's been making the, the journey pretty well and pretty smooth. The closure is impacting about half of the church's members. It's added probably an average of 15, 20, 25 minutes on some of their commutes over. I've seen some coming in a little later, you know, that that's had a little hard time uh, maneuvering through the traffic, but they, they get here and uh, a little worse for wear, but it's been okay. Members are still figuring out which route is best to take. Some have experienced going over uh, Green Mountain, and that's been a little challenging for them, so that's not their favorite area to go. Pastor Byron says it's been easier to get to church on Sunday mornings, and he's seen a bigger impact on Wednesday services. He says the most noticeable difference since the road closure is... It's awfully quiet up here on this hill. When you go from 17,000 cars a day to no cars a, a day, it's almost an eerie feeling sitting up here on this hill in the evening time to not hear all the traffic. Pastor Byron says the closure isn't as horrific as he thought it would be. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News. Since the closure, the church has started a program called Good Neighbor. They plan to head out to local restaurants to help give more business to places struggling because of the construction.